Well, there are actually two ways of mounting this system to your desk. One is um, by drilling a hole through your desk, um, sticking the bolt through it and this part below your desk and then mount it. But I'm not going to do that. I will be using this part. And this part makes it able to clamp your desk uh, to the mount. Um, so I like this better than drilling a hole through my desk. But maybe um, if you don't have an edge like this, where you can mount it to, uh, or you want to mount it right in the middle of something, then yeah, well, I think it's a very nice piece to be able to mount it on every position on the desk that you would like to mount it. So we are going to start with step 1A. And step 1A includes attaching this protective part. It's loose and it sticks easily. And we can put this part in here. Use a bolt. So, as you can see, it can now be clamped to my desk and easily fixated. So, we are now ready for step two. Step two includes mounting the arm, the first part of the arm, to the clamp. Which is easy. Um, the manual tells me that I can use the small screws here on the back to do some adjustments on how tough it goes. And also, if you want to have it a 90 degrees angle or a 180 degrees angle. Well, let's keep it on 90 now. Um, you can fix it and make it more tougher. You can use the bottom screw. So I changed the camera position a bit because it's getting a bit big. Um, step 3 includes to put the second part of the arm on the first part and then closing the screw a bit so that it moves quite nicely, not too easy, but also not too hard. So, first part of the mount is ready. Now we have to attach the crossbar. The crossbar is step four. So attaching the crossbar um, looks a bit complicated because some screws are already attached to the crossbar um, but you don't have to use these. These are only for adjusting the tilt of the three screens. There's a bright arrow uh, showing which side is up and we can just put it on the back and then use four screws to uh, mount it first by hand and as you can see it's really not complicated as long as you keep the four screws that are already attached just in place With the supply tools you now can adjust them, close them firmly, you never have to open these again. Always do this crossways. Well, that's it for step, uh, step four. So the next step is to attach the handle. Um, 
According to the manual, we need to use screw Q, but there are only two screw Qs, and there are four holes as well as in the mount, as in the handle. But it turns out that you can mount this on three different heights: the lowest, the middle height, and the upper height. Um, and only for the middle one, you should be able to use four screws, but all the other two positions, you only need two screws. There are only two included. Um, I have quite big screens, so I will start by using the lowest position. And I can always uh, adjust it later, I think. Again, a very easy step as long as you don't start looking for four screws. <laughs> but okay. That's it for step number five. So now it's time for step six. And in step six, we have to attach the extensions bar to the crossbar. Um, there are two of these, but they are opposite. Um, obviously, you have to be able to put the monitor in up from the upper side. But this one goes here. The other one goes on that side. Um, it is attached with three screws each. I will first put in all the screws before I really fix them. And tighten them, you'll not to have to ever have to open it again, but don't overdo it because you don't want to break anything. So that's it for the first extension bar, and then the other one as well, three screws. Nothing complicated, just put in three screws. I think everybody can do this. And if you have put in all three, then you have to tighten them. Not too extreme, but also you don't have to open it ever again. So. That looks quite nice. So that's it for step number six. So step number seven says that I have to put the extensions bar straight with the crossbar. So you can open it. As you can see, it can uh, make a 15 degree angle. Um, not sure why you can put it backwards. It doesn't. Uh, so put it. Step seven says put it straight. So I'm doing that right now. And tighten it a bit. That's it for step seven. 
Well, step eight is already uh, to attach uh, the monitors. First you attach this part to the monitor and then you can easily um, connect them here. Um, but before that, I want to show you how this mount can be adjusted in any way you would like. As you can see, it can move in all kinds of positions. You can also lower it all the way to the bottom of the table to, well, I think it's a pretty good height. We'll probably not use it this high. I like my screens quite high, but probably something like this. This, uh, this gas spring can be adjusted, but you should do that uh, after you put on the screens because that adds a bit of weight. Um, but as you can see, you can mount it in a lot of different positions and adjust it to any way you want. So one more thing that I want to show you is that when I've mounted the monitor to this bracket, you can easily hang it on the wall mount, on desk mount. Um, and then you can use these screws to lock it so that you cannot actually tip off your monitor. If you close the screw, it's fixed. And the other screw on the bottom, you can use it so that it does not move and ramble. So it's completely fixed and then you can easily slide it inward and outward. So now let's attach the bracket to the monitor. This is phase 100 and this is phase 75. Back of screws. we need and some uh, some of these uh, rings as well it's always better to have this o-ring um, to not damage the paint on the bracket First, put them in manually. It's also a very good idea if you put the protective sheet from the packaging of the screen below it to not damage the screen while you are doing this. <coughs> Once manually fixed, just tighten the screws. Again, tighten it good, but not overdo it. I always do it crossways. Well, that's it. Bracket attached to the screen. And now we can easily take the screen and mount it like this and use the screws to fixate it also you can still move the screen but that's uh, that's uh, number one two more to go
So now let's mount the second bracket to the second monitor. And again, I don't like it that this part is not able to be removed from the screen. But probably I will use it as a fixture for some LED strip to make some uh, nice light on my desk. I'm not sure yet how, but probably I can. 3D print a part that goes in here and then have a flat area where I can mount a LED strip to it. But we'll see that in a different video, hopefully. So now I have mounted the bracket to this screen. There will be a big moment because now we for the first time we will see if it fits. So again, pretty easy to fix it here. Oh look, I have to tension the, the gas spring a bit more. Because now it falls uh, falls down. So now we have to mount the bracket to the third screen. Again, the same for screws. First, tighten them by hand and then try to do a bit more and don't Ever overdo it. So that's it. Mount it. Immediately close the screw that prevents accidentally knocking it out because you don't want your nice screens to fall on the ground. Now it looks quite messy, but we still have to adjust it a bit. Let's do that. So, with three screens, the, the gas spring here takes quite a lot of tensioning and you need quite a lot of turns to make it able to do like this but you can see it's quite stable you can move the two screens in all directions and adjust it like you want it so I have now fully mounted uh, all my three uh, screens and you can immediately see that there is a little problem. As you can see when uh, uh, the mount is bent 
then a 27 inch screen is not able to fit it. If you put it if you put it straight and then you can easily fit it but when you bend it then a 27 inch screen is actually too big for this mount and what I want to do I want to to have the, the curved screens um, making one bigger curve and that is unfortunately not yet the case but let me try if I can change this a bit you can move it inward but you cannot move it further outward but maybe I can make some adjustments here that the screen is just about a centimeter more uh, outwards and then then it will be perfect but out of the box 27 inch screen um, not if it is curved like this you will have a little problem and you need some um, to make some changes modifications to the mount to be able to, to get it right so and this is the final result as you can see it now curves perfectly all screens fit nicely together and this is really an awesome setup As you can see the mount also has a very nice cable management system they go through the mount and then at the bottom they come out and can be distributed to where you want it to go only at the back of the mount there is no cable guidance so it's only on the first part of the mount